Drake replied to Kendrick Lamar again with a tailor-made freestyle posted to his social media, this time using AI verses from Tupac and Snoop in a very controversial move that has the hip-hop world polarized. Kendrick, we need ya, the West Coast savior. Ain't great in your name and some hip-hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. What the fuck you really got to do? You passed you the torch at the House of Blues, and now you got to do some dirty work. You know how to move. On the one hand, you got a lot of people saying this is corny, a lot of people saying this is unnecessary, and a lot of people saying this was disrespectful to Tupac. On the other hand, AI has already been a part of this battle. From the jump, it's sort of been a secondary storyline. There's been AI undertones underneath what the rappers themselves have been saying. People have been making AI tracks. We don't know if the ones that are released are real or artificial intelligence. We had the guy on social media break down how he made an AI Kendrick verse. So it's already been a part of this battle so drake just stepped up and utilized it to his advantage and came at him from a creative and different angle now do i like it personally no i thought after the coachella hologram we were done with dead tupac if drake had just spit his third verse the taylor swift verse and left the rest he would be up by a mile he would have gone back to back on him people are still waiting for kendrick drake is still spitting but he decided to go with the AI. Now, some people don't like it. Other people don't give a fuck. They say this is a rap battle and there's no such thing as a line you can't cross. We didn't worry about exposing a child the last battle. We don't worry about when rappers start talking about fucking each other's wives. But now all of a sudden, if you utilize technology in a way that we deem too far, now we're getting upset. Fuck that. All's fair in love and war and rap battles. Now, Snoop himself, a very sleepy Snoop Dogg, woke up and made this video in response. They did what? When? How? Are you sure? Seems like he doesn't really care. Not exactly a cosign. He's not taking sides. But it seems like he's kind of like, I don't know what the kids are doing. Just go fucking do your thing. I'm going back to sleep. Now, put the AI aside for a second. If you look at what Drake wrote, because you can tell Drake still wrote these verses. It's still his style and his cadence. So if you don't like the AI, fine. But if you look at just the words themselves, it's still pretty clever. First of all, he be rabbits himself. He does 8 Mile style where he puts out there a lot of the stuff that people think Kendrick is going to say about him, which takes away the sting when Kendrick inevitably does it. For this Canadian light-skinned doc, we need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls. That's a kid for me. So first of all, good move there. Also, the way he's utilizing Pac and Snoop being like, yo, I thought you were going to respond by now when the West Coast needs you. Where you at? Unless, hey, you're not up for the challenge. You got to show this fucking aisle who's boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move. Because right now it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? It's sort of disrespecting the West Coast and Tupac, which is just begging Kendrick Lamar to reply because I think Drake is so desperate to drop the nuclear bomb that he's got in the holster that he needs Kendrick to reply first. He's so desperate to push that red button that I think he's now using goofy antics and going over the top, just baiting Kendrick to put out a song and put it out soon so that he can finally deliver the death blow. So whether you like it or not, whether you think Drake has the ace up his sleeve or not, it's very clear that Drake is fully in battle mode and is not going to stop until this thing is done. Kendrick Lamar, we don't know. We're hearing rumors about an album coming out in May. He might make it a part of his role out there. People are begging him to reply. Now all of rap fans are moving the goalposts. When do you have to reply? When do you not have to reply? If Drake is this entrenched in battle mode and ready to go, I think he will not stop until Kendrick Lamar says something to him so he can drop that final bomb.